Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, thrill six of all ages, cause the child here, John Caster, born bots. Built for theme parks, and welcome to another theme park newsroom update. Let's go! <laughs> so, welcome to a new theme park newsroom update from Legoland Deutschland in Germany. And this is on a brand new. <gasps> Roller coaster. Now, this brand new roller coaster is not just any roller coaster. This is the biggest investment in the park, I believe, in history. Now, before we get started, make sure you do like, comment, subscribe, cut that case, boss, you know, make YouTube video. Also, check out the description down below with the social media links and the Google Forms link where you, behind the camera, can submit your own video ideas. And for now, guys, Let's have a look at Legoland Deutschland and what they're planning to invest in a couple of years' time. <laughs> so according to Augsburger Alemenye, I think that's how it's pronounced, Melon Entertainment is investing more than 15 million euros into Legoland Gunsberg, which is of course Deutschland, including a new roller coaster, which will be created by 2023. So basically in terms of the creation of this roller coaster, um, now the, the main article actually doesn't go too far into detail without having to pay to read the rest, which is obviously very, very infuriating uh, but uh, according to the German newspaper uh, from the, this this was an English version sort of written on the forum the coast will go briefly upside down and the riders will sit on the left and right of the track with nothing above or beneath them it could be a wing coaster now this would go well with the rumored B&M Merlin deal uh, with the Nemesis retracking, the Chessington wing coaster, and the Legoland Germany wing coaster, potentially. Uh, the article is behind the paywall. The info is courtesy of uh, Coaster Friends um, as well. So you've got the info from Coaster Friends. You've also got the um, full article, if you can pay for it, at August Burger Alec Mignet. Uh, now, obviously, when it was first revealed, this uh, particular investment, uh, in addition to the Unders Construction Holder Village, um, it'll be the first coaster since the Drakenjagd in 2003, so that's 20 years ago, so long overdue for a new coaster. And um, basically the translated version to English from the statement is as follows. We are very pleased to be able to build the world's first roller coaster of this type in a Legoland park, and thus to be able to fulfill the long cherished wish of our guests for an expansion with a high level of action and energy. Note that the bolded statement above doesn't necessarily say a world's first coaster, but perhaps only rather one you need to a Legoland park. But 15 and a half million euros is a very significant budget. Now, some forums have been linking towards the possibility of a first ever Axis coaster in Europe for 2023. Of course, we broke that story months ago on the channel about uh, the first ever Axis coaster coming to Europe in 2023, listing certain parks. Could Legoland Deutschland be one of the part? Could be the part to get it? We don't know. Because um, technically, if you look, to be fair, if you look at the, if you look, if you behind the camera, look at the Axis coaster, you will know, you will know that this is definitely um, nothing, uh, it's definitely nothing below you and nothing above you depending which axes you rotate. Um, so, I mean, it's technically true, technically. I could be wrong, though, with technicals. Um, but for me, I think at the moment, unless I'm proved mistaken, it screams Wing Coaster. It absolutely, it screams it like a banshee from the top of the ceiling. It screams Wing Coaster. Now, obviously, we don't know that for certain. However, we are going to have... Um, confirmation of that I'm sure within the coming months now let's show you the site in question of where this is going to be and this actually came, this actually came from an, an image from the German newspaper from the few pages I could read the few paragraphs I could read before you pay for the rest um, and I'm going to share with you the picture of this well not the picture of the site but I'm going to share with Google Maps version of the site in question there it is on your screen, Fan Dabby Dorsey. Look at that beautiful piece of grassland. It is quite a big sight. I'm not going to lie to you guys. It is a big, big sight. Now, this is behind the tower ride. Um, it's in a big field. Like I said, 15.5 million euros. Quite a sweet investment. And uh, I'm now going to share with you my thoughts on what is happening. 
There we are, ladies and gentlemen. Thrill seeks of all ages. That is speaking about the brand new coaster for 2023. Like, like, Oh, I'm screaming with excitement. My voice is going. It feels epic. Now, obviously, Legoland Deutschland, a theme park in Germany, one of the main Legoland parks in the brand. Uh, for me, I think this is a brilliant investment, brilliant for the teenagers to get that experience at the park. Why am I slapping something that's not there? I don't know. But for me, Legoland Deutschland have hit the nail on the park here. Great ride for the Thrill Seekers, great investment for that target audience for 2023. One of the projects in Europe to look out for for me for 2023, along with several others. But um, in the UK and Europe, hashtag Chessington. Uh, but for me, I I've got no faults with this. I really, really don't. If it is, if it is a B&M Wing Ghoster, it's going to be epic. Now, obviously... It can be other suggestions. It could be the Axis Coaster, because technically there is nothing above you and nothing below you, depending which axes you rotate. So technically, it could fall into that category. Um, it could be the Intamin Wing Rider. Um, it could be one of those. It could be one of the sort of the more modern Wing Riders. But to be fair, Sky Rush 2012, you know. Depends if Intamin or someone like that wants to take their chances with a Wing Rider or a Wing Coaster of their own. So, I wonder if it could be a world's first concept or, or sort of a, a sort of unique concept for theme parks in general rather than just Legoland. So, one thing to think about. But another thing to think about is the budget. 15.5 million euros. Can't always be for the coaster. It can be for the area as well. If they spent, let's say, 12 point five but between 10 and 12 million euros on the coaster and spent three million pound just on theming and landscaping i think you'd be onto a winning project there especially within a whole new area for the for the coast city kind of like chessington again with project amazon so want to think about but uh, leave your predictions in the comments down below i'm going for the wind coaster or a new area with a coaster inside it uh to make up the price uh, now there we go the guys that is it for this video make sure you do like comment subscribe I'm ghost child keep living the ghost life I'll see you guys next video very very soon take care guys have a lego tastic day We're building this coaster one brick at a time Keep your head back hold on tight you must escape